Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder from Cars.com. We're at the Detroit Auto Show where almost everything seems to be about green cars. We covered diesels in part one. In this video, we'll cover hybrid and other alternative stuff. Give it a rating. Green thumbs up, green thumbs down. While no one was looking, Ford brought out a plug-in version of its Escape Hybrid. That's obviously where you plug it in. Now, this isn't necessarily a real product, or at least not yet, but it is based on the regular hybrid. It seems like it is drivable, so I'll give it a thumbs up. Also introduced the 2009 Saturn View Green Line two-mode hybrid. It's the second hybrid version of the View. This one, having the two-mode system, is about 50% more efficient, which is good because the car was pretty inefficient in gas-only form. They also brought out a 2010 plug-in version of this hybrid that will give you more mileage because you plug it in and charge it up overnight. That's not here yet. It's waiting for the lithium-ion battery, which we don't know, so I will say a thumb up and one thumb that way. The Cadillac Provoke concept, nice little crossover unit, but it has the E-Flex powertrain, which we've been talking about. It's basically a battery electric vehicle, which is cool. Um, this one, instead of a generator, has a fuel cell. Fuel cell, I should live so long. Thumbs down. The Toyota ABAT concept is a hybrid small pickup truck. Now, people think truck and hybrid don't go together. In fact, people don't want hybrids. They want what they want, and they want it to be a hybrid. Now, environmentalists may say the only good truck is no truck. Meet us halfway. The only good truck is hybrid, kind of this way with the thumb. The Saab 9.4 X Biopower. It's a concept, but it would be a nice mid-sized crossover for them. It runs on E85. E85 ethanol has gotten some bad press recently, but this one is designed to run on E85 to maximize the potential of it, unlike some of the other E85 flex fuel vehicles. Because of that, thumbs up. BMW also introduced here a new vehicle called the X6 crossover. There's going to be a, a hybrid version of it called the Active Hybrid System. It's actually the same one used by GM. It's the right approach. Thumbs up. Another green car, the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. Now you're thinking, is the V10 engine efficient? Of course it's not efficient. But think about it. Lamborghini sold at most a thousand cars in this country last year. They can't be driven in all circumstances, all seasons. So. Go easy on the sports cars. Think about the millions of SUVs we've been driving for a couple decades. Two thumbs. The Honda CRZ concept, obviously a sporty little two-seater. It's a hybrid, which we like, but Honda's supposed to come out with a Prius competitor cheaper than the Civic Hybrid. I'm not sure this is what people want in a hybrid. Probably won't see the light as a real product. Thumbs down. Also introduced in Detroit, the Fisker Karma. This is a hybrid sports car. Now. I didn't like the other hybrid. The reason I like this one is it's a series hybrid. It has a generator on it, an electric motor, better than the system used in the other one. This is an actual product that is going to be built. They're from America. Thumbs up. So there you have it, Cars.com's very sophisticated, well thought out, and scientific rating of the green cars of the Detroit Auto Show. For additional information on this car or any other, go to Cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.